Libra, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, so you got the four wands, ace of wands, major celebration coming your way. Your angels are telling you right now that you're on the cusp of a major transformation. You put in a lot of work and right now you're about to get paid out. Like the good karma that you accumulated is coming. All you have to do is remember, let go of what you can't control and this energy will manifest immediately because that's what it comes down to. It's like whenever you're focusing on what you can't control, you're causing resistance, what resists persists and that's why it's taking longer than usual for this manifestation to happen. But when when you let go of what you can't control, like for example, you don't control the weather, you don't control the traffic, you don't control the past, right? So whenever you're you're letting go of the things you don't, you don't control, that's when you're releasing, that's when you're allowing your angels and guides to actually be able to help and guide you, and that's what they ask in return from you. And right now you have that confirmation through Wolf Spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. They're telling you right now, this is the time to let go and focus your experiences on the present moment so they can bring you new opportunities and new synchronicities. Now talk about opportunities. You got the sun, four pentacles, wow. So something big financially is about to take place for you. Your angels and guides are telling you that this is a time for you to really embrace the fact that you're going to be rich, flying first class, traveling, dining, doing whatever it is you're looking for. And right now your angels and guides are telling you that you experienced a time when you did not have money and now you're going to be experiencing a time where you do have money. And they're telling you during this time frame, strive for progress, not perfection. And what that really means is like when you are trying to strive for perfection, you never start anything. You don't start a business, you don't you know, uh, ask for that promotion. But when you're striving for progress, when you learn to love the journey, the, the, the uh, process opposed to event or the outcome, then you are fearless, right? Like for example, I know when I want to start my businesses, my Amazon businesses, I didn't tell myself, oh my goodness, if they fail, I'm gonna, you know, kill myself. I told myself, okay, listen, this is, I just started these out. I'm gonna give myself, gonna give myself a year to learn and I'm not gonna put pressure on myself. And by not putting pressure on myself, wow, everything got so much better. Because I do see here with the five of swords and the death card, that you do put a lot of pressure on yourself and your angels are telling you that this pressure is unnecessary. Your angels do not want this for you at all. And they're telling you that you can relieve this pressure by responding with reason and not emotion because whenever you're emotional, whenever you are being too hard on yourself, you know, that's when it's just like you are almost like it's like taking the long path, taking the hard path. It doesn't have to be this way. And I'll give you an example, right? Like, Imagine right now your angels and guides are telling you that you have everything you're looking for and they're here to guide you, but they ask for one favor and their favor is that your focus and awareness is on only make being 1% better every single day. Now you may tell yourself 1%, you know, that's not much, but 1% is actually 365% progress in a year. That's 37X, right? Imagine being 37 times smarter, 37 times more fit, 37 times, you know, richer. And that's why your angels are telling you dolphin spirit, this and that are true. The only thing that matters is what you think is true. So if you think you're doing well, then you are doing well. And that's exactly how you manifest what you're looking for. Now you got the eight of cups and the six of cups, very interesting energy right now. Your angels and guides are telling you that it's time to get grounded. When you are grounded, when you're intuitive, when you're in alignment, that's when the, the, the downloads come and that's when your angels and guides can actually help you. And they're telling you in order to get grounded, find strength and simplicity. You know, find strength and simplicity is, is the most important thing ever because what that really means is you know, whenever we overcomplicate things, things get really tricky, right? Like for example, like even with, with the stuff we eat, you know, I remember I used to like be, I, uh, I used to like think to myself in order for me to get, you know, uh, physically fit and, you know, put on some muscle, I'm gonna have to eat this, 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 you know, six meals a day, blah, 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 blah. And you know, all I did was end up getting fat. 
And now I tell myself, all right, so literally, you know what I do? I grab a bowl of peas and I just eat the peas. And then my next meal, I'll grab a bowl of soup, which is like literally like broccoli and like zucchini melted down and I'll eat that. And then another meal, I'll eat some like uh, blueberries and peas mixed up together as ice cream. And it's just like, it's like a simple thing ever. And life is really good. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's just, you know, picking the path of least resistance is what your angels are telling you right now. Now, your angels are also telling you that there's an unsustainable energy that has to get cleared on your part. And you can clear this energy by living with intention and not reaction. And that means really being purposeful, but not being hard on yourself as well. This is the key theme of the whole reading right now. Stop being hard on yourself because they don't want that. So right now, don't tell yourself, I should have been rich by now. I should have you know, been, married, uh, been married by now. I should have had kids by now. None of that. Everything happens for a reason. You are here right now, this second for a reason, because this is where your angels and guys want you to be they want they want you to accumulate data and learn a lot of stuff and you have uh, right now they're telling you that you know when you are living with intention when you are doing everything with the intention of you know you know being the best at it right if you're going to wash the dishes really be the best at washing the dishes if you're going to go for a drive be the best driver if you're going to go to work be the best at work and by using that beautiful butterfly spirit that transformation right there you know you'll be able to conquer yourself and conquer your world uh, at the same time now you have the nine of cups and the six of pentacles this is good this is letting you know that there you are on the cusp of a offering being delivered to you this offering is a financial wealth and this is some sort of mentoring or guiding from someone that sees potential within you and wants to help you right this is how everything i have in my life i have because of mentors you know i learned my amazon businesses because of mentors i learned my uh, day trading because of mentors even the youtube channels right and right now your angels are telling you that, you know, like own your reactions, control your destiny, because that's exactly how your mentor is going to be impressed and wooed by you. And by owning your reactions, what that really means is don't really, you know, you don't understand the only thing you have in life is your reactions and your opinions. It's not things that upset us, it's our reactions to them. Like for example, you're driving, someone cuts you off in the car. Now, your reaction could be, yay, I get to go home, didn't hit my car, I'm so grateful. Or your reaction could be like, how dare they let me pull up next to them. It's all about reactions. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you to control your reactions when it comes to anything in life and you will be able to conquer your world. And the only constant you have in life is change and understand that things are going to be constantly changing in your life. So don't let that you know, make you feel overwhelmed because I notice a lot of times that uncertain energy of the change makes us feel uncomfortable comfortable and that's why we may overreact but right now you got buffalo spirit confirming that the abundant universe will provide embrace and welcome this and remember change is your best friend you are looking to change you know the shows you watch you're looking to change the food you eat the clothes you wear you love change you welcome change you embrace change and let the universe deliver what is truly your birthright all right libra now let's get some money and love into your life i want you to write down the following words in the comment section exactly as you see on the card this is your affirmation for today as you write this down what you're doing is you're telling your angels and guides that you are ready for abundance and you're inviting it into your life now write this down and when you write write this down breathe life into it by really feeling these words so your affirmation for today is I am gentle with myself in transitions. Look at that. That's exactly what we've been talking about. Don't be hard on yourself. Your angels are telling you this is the last piece of the puzzle. Write this down in the comment section right now. I am gentle with myself in transitions. You're letting your angels and guides know you're quantum entangling with this energy and you are ready for new opportunities. I am gentle with myself in transitions. Write that down. Give this video a like and let your angels and guides know that you are ready for abundance. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. All right, now their final message is, love doesn't have to, what does I say? Love doesn't have to mean near. <laughs> love doesn't have to be near. Right now their message is, some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tell it who the universe. This is going to be more true. I have family members that have to love from a distance because whenever we are close to each other, you know, their frequency affects my frequency. And right now, one thing that your angels are telling you is never lower your frequency. 
always, always, always keep your frequency high. And if anyone wants to join the winning team, which is yours, let them raise their frequency, right? Like for example, like don't lower your energy, let other people raise their energy, which means like, you know, just honor your soul. And that's what your angels are telling you right now, Libra, be you and everyone will want to join the winning team. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed uh, your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.